G'day everyone, and welcome to a World of Warcraft Legion video on the Hidden Artifact Appearances. Now I know I'm probably a little bit late to the party on this one, since every class has their Hidden Artifact unlocked at this point, and we're almost coming up to 7.2 when the new, new Hidden Artifacts will come out. But some of you may have been having some trouble with it, uh, like I have. So I was using a, a macro that I found on the forums, I'll post a link to that forum thread as well as the macros in the description of this video, so check there if you want to just get access to the macros. But I was using a macro to check, to track my honorable kills, my dungeons completed, and also my world quests completed. So I'll show you what that looks like if you look down in my chat box here. So it says that my world quests are 200 out of 200 and my honorable kills are 1000 out of 1000. And if you uh, play a Frost Death Knight, or you know what their artifact appearances are, you'll see that the one that I'm wearing right now on my character, the purple one, is from completing 200 world quests while using the hidden artifact. But the dungeons, it says there's only one completed, but I've done a lot more than one. So at first I was a little bit annoyed because I didn't know if it was a problem with the macro or if it was a bug with the game thinking I'd only completed one dungeon. So I did a bit more research and I found that forum thread I mentioned and in that forum thread there was another macro. So I'll show you what that one looks like if you look in my chat box again. It shows the completed amount of dungeons that I got. And I did a little bit of testing on this as well because I didn't think 32 was the right number. So the, the tracker does go up after completing a random heroic, a random normal, and mythic dungeons. Any, any one of them is fine, doesn't matter what dungeon you've done, doesn't matter if you've already completed them in the week, you'll get a, a tick, uh, you'll get another one towards your 100 progress. Uh, also, you can transmogrify over the appearance using just whatever you have in your appearance collection, as long as at your, your Soul Forge or whatever the equivalent of your order hall is, you have the hidden appearance actually selected. That's the only important thing. You have to have the hidden artifact appearance collected. Uh, sorry, selected for use. Even if it's tran transmogrified over. It doesn't matter. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there to everyone who may have been a bit confused about it like I was, because clearly I've done more than one dungeon. Um, and if you do want to go for this appearance, even if you don't like the look of it, make sure you've got it selected. Because I'm pretty sure... I was doing that wrong. It also doesn't matter if you complete it on a different spec, say for example if you completed 200 uh, world quests as blood, as I did, it will, it will unlock the hidden artifact appearance for every spec, including if you don't have access to the actual appearance. So for example, I didn't have the unholy appearance that drops from casting Apocalypse, uh, but once I completed my 200 world quests on blood, I got access to the um, that variation for the weapon, for Unholy and for Frost. But yeah, thanks for, for joining me on this, and I'll just quickly show you again. Before, it said I had 32 dungeons completed, just killed Hell yeah, and we go back down, 33 dungeons ticked off. So this macro seems to be accurate, uh, and the link will be in the description for the one that tracks the dungeons, as well as the other one that tracks all of them if you wanted to track. So thanks for, thanks for watching, uh, I hope this helped, and I'll see you in the next video.